Yo guys, Shake here today. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get motion blur in your Minecraft videos. You can even use this in Fortnite, but it's something that just makes the video look way better. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, the first thing you want to do is either open up OBS or Streamlabs OBS. I use Streamlabs, but you want to run it as an administrator just because it just, it's better. Trust me. Head on over to your settings cogwheel. So once we're here, I'm not going to worry about stream or anything. We're going to go to output and we're going to go to the recording mode because this is recording. You cannot do this while streaming. Okay. So recording pad doesn't really matter. Um, this stuff doesn't matter. Change this to MP4, audio tracks. Two is my preference, but you can leave it at one if you want. Make sure you change this to hardware invec. And then rate control, change it to CQP. Change this to 18. Keyframe interval, zero. Max performance, profile high, and then unchecked, and then zero, and then zero. So that's like the first half of what you're gonna need. So then you want to go down to your video tab. So this is going to be your monitor. So mine's 1080p, so 1080p. Then you want to either do this in uh, 720p, which is this one, or 1080p. I use 1080p because I have a pretty good PC. You want to change this to bilinear. And you want to change this to fractional FPS values. This depends on how many FPS you get in game while recording. I could go up to like 600 FPS. But I like to keep it at 360 because it looks really, really smooth. You also want to make sure it's like multiplicable does that even is that even a word by six so 360 is 60 times six so yeah you could do 240 which is 60 times four and so on i i hope that makes sense and that's the denominator you just leave that on one don't don't mess with that but that's your numerator mine's 360 it just depends on how much fps you get in game and stuff so yeah that's the first part but you guys gotta watch this all the way through to actually get the motion blur effect so now you want to open up your version of sony vegas it really doesn't matter what version you use i use the newest one which is sony vegas 18 but it doesn't matter whatever version you want to use is it's up to you it should i think everything up to 15 should be fine so here's my profile so you want to change this to 1920 by 1080 non-progressive blah, 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 blah. frame rate is really important if you want to do 360 fps then you change it to 360 if you want to do it to uh 240 you change it whatever you record in you want to match it with that so mine was 360 so i would go back and change it but this is my 240 template but just change your frame rate to whatever you used in your obs pixel format 8 bit all that you can't even change so don't worry about it go to best on rendering quality it just makes it look better and the motion blur type you want to put it at box blur and then resample you want to make it at smart resample and de interlace click on none so yeah this is basically how like the first like portion of how to get your motion blur basically what this does and how the motion blur works i'm just gonna explain it real quick and go nerd on you guys basically um youtube only allows 60 fps so when you render it in 60 fps because it's actually like recorded in 360 or 240 whatever fps you recorded in it has extra frames and those extra frames blend together with the box blur and the smart resample and actually turn into motion blur and it gives a really really cool motion blur effect so yeah that's basically that but make sure that your motion blur type is on box again just normal box and then de interlace none and smart resample that's very 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 important and then just apply it and then press ok and then just drag a clip in and i'll show you guys the render settings okay this is just a random fortnite uh clip that i dragged in here like i'm not this isn't an editing tutorial this is just my render settings to actually get these super duper smooth renders so yeah you just render whatever you want in the timeline really doesn't matter this is just a test again and then you want to click render as and then you want to just turn your filter off then you want to get a magix hevc slash aac then find the one that says hd uh whichever one invec so hd 1080p 59.94 invec just make sure invec is selected here's mine i'll just go ahead and show it to you guys so yeah just name it and save it whatever you want okay so hd 1920 by 1080 profile default uh leave that leave your frame rate at that that's super important uh put that at one your uh variable bit rate is something that you're going to change put both of them at 240 million and then that one at 240 million and then nv encoder default and then bbr audio change this to 384,000. it makes you just you sound just a little bit better so go ahead and do that and make sure include audio is of course uh checked then you just want to change this to best and you're good to go you can render out your video and these are my render settings for my minecraft videos and fortnite like smooth renders and stuff these are just the best render settings to get 
you know that motion blur effect so yeah i hope this did help you i've made a video on this in the past but this one was just more in depth and just way updated and better so yeah make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video um if you haven't done so already my name's shig i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream and as always peace out